Teenagers whose violence and anger got them into big trouble with the law are now coming face to face with models of peace and restraint. News 4 Government Affairs reporter Melissa Russo takes us inside a Brooklyn juvenile detention center for this exclusive report. Chuck, as teenagers go, these are some of the city's angriest. By the time they're 14 or 15, they're already in big trouble, and oftentimes detention only makes it worse. But some of them are learning to get on a better path with a little help from the Buddha. Locked up in juvenile detention, there's nothing liberating about it. But these teenagers are learning to set themselves free. Breathe out, in, in. With the power of meditation. This is a way of kind of regaining your freedom in a space that doesn't feel very free. Their visitors are unlike anything these kids have seen on the streets. Soft-spoken, barefoot, and bald. It was pretty interesting. Like, I didn't really think that people would like that were real. So when I said them were good to do, I was like, Whoa, wait, good. who are they? They are Buddhist monks sent by the Lineage Project, which teaches yoga and mindfulness in detention centers. They might seem like unlikely models for kids like these who are in trouble for violence and struggling with anger and aggression. But the literal steps they teach seem to reach the young offenders. We're just aware of like, the contact our feet make with the, with the ground. It can be calming, even when they're angry. It was really interesting, like they taught me a lot about like breathing exercises. As we breathe out, we relax. So I'm one of the people that get frustrated a lot. Like I usually would bang on things. Now that they taught me that I could like walk around in circles and calm down. Learning to savor the moment, the feeling of a foot on the ground, the texture of an almond. You know, their families are a mess. They're not working things out in school. So this gives them something that can be master of their body and their mind. Some of the teens say if they knew these tricks before, they might not have ended up here in the first place. I was pressured to, like, the money I was making, it was my actions. If I were to breathe in and out and think before I act and say, oh no, this is not the right thing to do, I had a lot of good opportunities. My frustration is always going to bring me into a place like this. So if I don't realize what I'm doing on the outside, I'm always going to wind up in a place like this. You got to be mindful of your movements. Think before you act. It's an important skill for anyone. The Administration for Children's Services tells us they want to make the time spent in detention as productive as possible for these young people so they can succeed when they leave instead of returning again and again. And you'd think that these tough street kids would find this totally uncool, but Chuck, it was amazing how well they responded to it. And finally, it's, uh, it's free for the city. Yeah, it's fabulous. All right. Thank you, Melissa.